Hello, welcome to the TSFP YouTube channel. I'm Alex Kirkland, this is Sid Lowe. This is. And we're looking ahead to a big weekend in La Liga. Is it big or is it just one really big game? I think this first game is a big game. Granada against Espanyol this at one huge, o'clock. Actually. And what have we thought so far of Abelardo and the transformation at the, Espanyol? The Led, of course, by r.d.t. Was that enough dots? It was. Uh, Abelardo has done a little bit what he did at Alaves, uh, a little bit what he did at Sporting Gijón, which is, which is to get the players involved in enjoying it, in having the, the belief that they can do it, in being very aggressive, in being really quite direct. And as you say, a series of signings as well, three main signings they've already made, spent a lot of money, particularly for a club like Espanyol, and in particular with r.d.t. who's had a He cannot start. stop scoring, Dot. It's, this is a telegram. <laughs> <laughs> After that is the game that you're referring to as being the big yeah. game, the Madrid derby. Not a game that always entertains, but is nonetheless extremely important. Yeah, and also I think particularly important from, from Atletico Madrid's point of view, because this feels, I don't know about you, but I feel like this anyway, this mm. feels like the game that if they lose this, this season is over. I mean, obviously not the Champions League because they've scored Liverpool, but there's not mm. a huge amount of faith that they'll beat Liverpool, to be perfectly honest. And this would put them a long way behind Real Madrid. And I also feel like this feels like a shifting moment. Mm. So a big part of the way that we define Atletico Madrid is by Real Madrid. And so a big part of the way that we've defined the success of Cholo Simeone has been to go and compete with Real Madrid, compete in the derbies, to take a league title off them and Barcelona. Even if not always like winning those battles, exactly. but so, making them Well, he made this point, battles. didn't he? They recently lost the, the, the Super Cup in Jeddah to, to Real Madrid. And he said, look, in 90 minutes, we've never lost a Real Madrid mm. in the final, yet they've lost three of them. Mm. Yeah, because one of them in extra time and two of them on penalties. Um, but this feels now like the, the, the balance is shifting away from Simeone a little bit. The balance is shifting back towards Real Madrid. And it feels like Madrid coming to this much more as favourites than they've done, perhaps at, than at any time in the last five or six years in this. And I just feel like if Atletico lose, is it the beginning of the end? Mm. No, Jao Felix, we think. Yeah. He's almost certainly absent through injury. Although, you know, the season he's had, that's not necessarily a massive loss. Yeah, is that but if anyone's going to have any say. creativity, if anyone's going to spark something, it's likely to be him. You look for it as well. Otherwise, it's six like or seven other injuries. Koke is not, mm. not fully fit yet. Trippier didn't train today. Um, they've been without... Who else is missing? They've been they're without Jimenez. Yeah. It, it, it does feel like there's something... Not broken, but starting to, to, to slightly un, unravel at Atletico. And after that, I think another big game, Sid. Mallorca yeah. against Valladolid. That's, that's massive. That at the is bottom. massive, actually. That yeah. really is massive. These are the two teams, you would say, who are fighting to not be the third relegated side. Now, obviously, that makes the assumption that Espanyol stay down there and the Leganes stay down there. Mm. But these are the two teams that, with Celta, I suppose, kind of floating around that final place now. And this is a relegation six points. I, I mean, I would say Mallorca are, in a lot of ways, a better team than... Well, maybe maybe they're not, you know. Maybe Valladolid are a better, a better organised team, but Mallorca have a bit more talent. Watching Valladolid last weekend, I had a very clear sense that Valladolid are both very, very good and very, very bad at the same time. Very good, as you rightly say, <laughs> the yin and yang. They're set up <laughs> well. They impress in terms of what they're able to do. But then in terms of the, the fundamentals, which is the raw material, how good are their players? And I mean no disrespect, and I say this every time, even the worst player in football no is, a, is a brilliant player. People have fired the but lead. There was a, the, the, the inability to, to string together passes, to provide the final delivery, to, to have, if you like, the technical quality to create the chances, which, by the way, may have just been resolved. How about this for a signing? Ben Arthur at Vidalee. Nine o'clock on Saturday, Valencia against Celta. Valencia. I think sort of confounding all expectations under Celades in, in a lot of ways, performing much better than we thought that they would. Yeah, although coming into it, obviously off the back of having been sla slammed by my Mallorca and having played very poorly against Real Madrid mm. in, in the yes. Super Cup, but yes. they were they were impressive indeed against Celta, Barcelona. There's a few, there's a, few, there's a bit of um, trouble d d descent in the dressing room. There's and a lot. Of I mean, there already was. There was a division in the dressing room which Oscar Garcia has had to try and resolve. And it he hasn't, hasn't been that easy. He said something very interesting at the weekend. Um, uh, um, uh, what's his name? What? Pionicisto. What? I was, okay. I was, I was like, what's, I was, what's I was he thinking, reaching for I here? Thinking, I was thinking, thinking Pino Sistoni. No, <laughs> Pionicisto. Sisto taken off very, very angry. Oscar Garcia mm. confronted him and then said that's, after yeah, the game, I'm not going to have this kind of thing from him, not least because he should be thinking about where he was a few weeks ago before I came, not even in the squad. Uh, Sunday, midday, Leganes against hashtag always watch Lariel. Leganes... We're still, it's not quite happening. Are they any, we, well, at the time of recording, there's been no last minute Leganes business. Not that So they've not. simply not replaced. They've been trying Enziri. to, or they say they've been trying to, but doing so is not that easy. After that, two o'clock, Abar against Betis. Thoughts? I'm simply, your tea for that is simply thoughts? 
What? No, I mean, look, any game involving Neymar tends to be quite good fun. Mm. And actually, Betis, and Betis, Betis have been have been good to watch this season. I think it may it may actually help Betis that Abar will step up and give them the space to go in behind. Four o'clock, a bruising encounter between Athletic Club and Getafe. <laughs> Fourth place, Hetafe, who are in, back in the back in the top four. Amazing. Is this finally? Is this going to be the year that they are they going to do it? Are they going to finish fourth, Hetafe? They might do, you know. They might not. They are really good. Six thirty, Sevilla against Alaves. Sevilla have just brought in Suso from Milan. That's quite exciting. Yeah, and that forward line now is really strong. Replacement in all in all of those positions. Um, Sevilla do look strong, and maybe Sevilla is part of the answer to your previous question about will Getafe do it? Mm. Perhaps not, because Sevilla will feel that they can. Atletico Madrid will feel that they can, and I suspect that Valencia will feel that they can. And I guess if there are three candidates for the two remaining places, assuming that Madrid and Barcelona are definitely getting into the Champions League. Um, then it's then it's those also three. at 6.30 on Sunday this is the game that was moved around like three times in a day or mm. something it's been played on Friday Saturday it is Sunday Villarreal against is Osasuna is a house song four <laughs> seasons in one day three kickoff times in one day um, how are Osasuna going to cope without the without our favourite player basically Jimmy Jimmy Avila <sighs> The worrying thing they is, will I suspect they won't. Look, they've got a very mm. clear identity, and it's a clear identity not rooted purely in him, and the other players express it as well, and Alessati believes in it as a, as a manager, and, and certainly with, with Ruben up front, I think they will continue to press, they'll continue to be aggressive, they'll continue to be quite direct. But nobody embodied that better than Jimmy Avila, and he was the one, not necessarily that made it work, but the, 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 he's the one that kind of most made it all make sense. And I think, I, I mean, I genuinely, here's a question for all of our viewers, and, and indeed for you, Al. Sure. Is there a single player as kind of symbolically and practically significant for his club as Chimi Avila was for Osasuna this season? Messi. <laughs> The answer, the, the answer is, answer is yeah, yeah. No matter what the question, Messi is the answer. Yeah, just... Will Messi be the answer at nine o'clock on Sunday Probably. for Barca against Levante? Probably. Big game this for Kiki Setien. Uh, we're recording this before the cup game on Thursday night, so we'll we see how that goes. don't know what's happening that. Let's assume that they've got through that and played well. But, but Setien is under uh, pressure. By the way, people have turned on Setien incredibly fast. Are we surprised? We should Not be surprised. entirely, but you would kind of think that people would then sort of see this and think well this tells us that the problems were deeper which mm. of course everybody deep down knew that it wasn't just that Valverde I don't want was... I don't want to look at deeper problems I want superficial snap solutions here's a superficial answer <laughs> for you um, Messi <laughs> um, that was the weekend preview listen to Phil and Sid talk all about this weekend in La Liga in the Spanish football podcast out on Monday on Apple Podcasts, Sid on SoundCloud mm -hmm. on Spotify on Acast, all of those places. And that one I found. The, the one that you one. invented. Oh, no, Over, no, the, no, the, real, real, the one you actually found. Overcast. All of that and loads more at patreon.com forward slash TSFP. Do what the man says.